Okay, game three, Calgary Flames at the Dallas Stars, 6, uh, 6.30 Pacific time is the start, 9.30 Eastern time is puck drop. And for as dry as this series has been, it's been exactly the style that both teams want to play. Both teams want to say, okay, we're, you beat us for 200 feet uh, because we think defensively we're better than our opposition. Well, now you have two styles that are really clashing, two teams that are built for the postseason that whoever wins the series I think is going to have a lot of success moving forward. Let's take a look at the number on this game. Calgary minus $1.60, five and a half under minus $1.35. Neither neither number has moved since it's open, but we're seeing a, a high percentage of money coming in on the Flames, although not enough money to move this number at all. So uh, tonight's goaltenders, Jacob Markstrom, of course, will get the star for Calgary. Jake Ottinger for uh, the Dallas Stars. That's not uh, that's not confirmed, but that's certainly not debatable. That that is what your matchup is going to be tonight. And this ser series, this series for me has. Uh, been as close as any in terms of finding room on the ice to get quality scoring opportunities. Uh, you you just – there is no room. Uh, of all the playoff series, this is the one that is the tightest. This is the one where you better get the puck off your stick as quickly as possible because in about 1.5 seconds, you're going to get slammed up against the glass. There is no room. So both teams are built for each other, like we like we said, and, and if – we're basically they're sitting there waiting for each other to make a mistake. If they make a mistake in their own end, uh, that then that's where the the offense comes from. There's a lot of offense based upon defense in this series. This is a Flames franchise that's still, you know, to me, growing up right before our eyes. It's an organization who hasn't been able to find their way into the second round on a consistent basis. They've been there in the second round just twice in the last 32 years. And you may say that that is old news, but we certainly talk about this current group of Florida, or uh, Carolina, yeah, let me say that again, Cal Calgary Flames team. This core group right now has also been accused of not being able to make it to the second round. So that's not old news. That's news that's pertaining to this team right now, which is one of the reasons why Daryl Sutter was brought into this organization to get to that second round. The uh, Flames were able to grab a 3-2 lead in the series, but not because because they played well uh, in the game. I mean, in fact, up until that third period, I didn't think Calgary played very well at all. I mean, Dallas played a very structured game, uh, trying to nurse that one nothing lead. They weren't able to do that, and finally Calgary broke through with three goals uh, for the for the win and the puck line cover. Jake Ottinger absolutely has been terrific. He's got a two and three record, but. Save percentage is around 96%. Goals against 1.63. Uh, those numbers are good enough for me. Let's take a look at tonight's official selection on this game. The, Jake Ottinger has been terrific. Jacob Markstrom, we know, is terrific. I'm going to take the generous plus 140 with the home team in this. As I mentioned before, the Flames are just 6-14 in in their last quarterfinal games, while Dallas has won 5 of 7 at home and 4 of 5 when playing on one day's rest. This is just a matter of the Flames need to prove to me as an organization that they can close out a, an opening series before I start riding with them the rest of the way. And really, this pick is about the number. You're going to give me $1.40. We're, obviously, we're just trying to build bankroll. I think that's a very generous number to give, and I am more than willing to take that ticket and put it in my wallet. Okay, well, that's all the time we have today. We appreciate you joining us. Join me again on Tuesday. We get you set up for the second round of the postseason. This thing's going by quick, as the whole season has. Uh, thank you for to my executive producer, Antonio. I'm Dana Lane. Also, check me out on social media, Dana Lane Sports. Uh, you contact me anytime during the weekend. Uh, until on Tuesday, we appreciate you joining us, and all the best, and uh, thanks for your time.